Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at how we can go about making a plan when we have primary data. So primary data is data we collect ourselves. So we need to talk about having a step-by-step -step set of instructions that measure the variable. So not, don't just write something that says go and measure the height. That's not a step-by-step -step set of instructions. Think about it like with a recipe or a science experiment, you always have step-by-step -step instructions and that's what we're looking for. So here's an example. If we are looking to measure somebody's hand span, there's a few things that we want to include in that because remember, we need to be managing the variation that we've identified. So those sources of variation we've identified, here is the place where we need to put them into practice so that they actually get managed. So for example, one of the things we want to do is we want them to put their hand flat down on a piece of paper. If they're hold, not holding their hand flat, then it's not going to get the accurate measurement of the hand span. Another thing we want to do is we want to ask them to spread their fingers out. So the wider they spread their fingers out, the more accurate the hand span measurement is going to be. We've asked them to mark the edge of the small finger and the thumb. So notice the instructions have been quite specific that I want to measure from here to here. So I'm being quite specific about what it is that I want to measure. So that's what the last step there is also doing. It's giving me the measurement and saying measure the distance between those two marks from the edge of your smallest finger to the thumb. So that's an example of some detailed instructions that we would like to see. Thanks for watching.